welcome to this video on managing your meetings all in one place in Microsoft Teams with the Meet app. So if like me you have a lot of meetings, you use Microsoft Teams, whether it be personally or professionally, you'll know when you come to meetings there'll be chat conversations, there'll be attachments, there'll be recordings um, and sometimes it's hard to go back in your calendar to find all of that information. So there's a new app that you can add onto the left hand side with all of your other apps like Teams, like Calendar, like Calls, called Meet. So if it doesn't exist on there on the left hand side, you can go to the plus sign and select it. But actually, because I can only see a certain amount on there, if I go to view more apps, then the Meet one will be there. I have pinned it. If you select an app on the left hand side and right click on it, you'll be able to pin it to the left so you'll always see it. If I have a full screen open, then it might have showed there on the left hand side, but otherwise click on the three dots if it's missing. And if you've pinned it, it will be there. So when I click on that, you'll see I've got information about my meetings. So I can see the next meetings I have on the access process. And then if I go along, I've got a weekly one to one and there are some arrows as well that will take you further along and show you any meetings that you have coming up. And you can also open your calendar, which will be the calendar view that you get on the left hand side. With these meetings, you'll see if you've had responses or not. Now, obviously, that depends on whether they've sent the response or just accepted or declined or tentative without actually sending responses. You can send reminders and you can reschedule from this screen, which is really, really useful. You can also start a chat conversation. So if this meeting hasn't started yet, you may or may not know. You can already start chatting before that meeting kicks off and it will be visible and there when the meeting starts and you also have more options to view the meeting details, copy the links to share with other people and also cancel if you want to. So you can do a lot of your calendar management in this one app. But what's also really useful is once meetings happen and you've been shared documents and you've got recordings, if I scroll down, you can see any recent content that was there and you can see I've got a Project P catch up there. There's been a test document that I can click on. Again, I can go into my chats and into my calendar and find all of this. But actually, I've got it all in one place, which makes my life much easier. I can view the chat or chat with participants. I can view a recap. And if I've got lots on here, you've got a filter box to search as well. And I can also flick between content and recorded if I've got any recorded meetings and I can click on those to go there or I can see all if I want to as well. So this meet app here, pin it to your left hand side. Again, remember, just right click. Mine's currently pinned, so it says unpin. And if it isn't visible because you've not got enough space there on the left hand side, you'll be able to see it on the three dots. Obviously, when you're selected, when you clicked on it, it will appear there. But if I went to my chats, it would disappear and I'd need to click on my three dots to find it again. And this will show you all of the content, all of the interaction in the meetings, in the previous ones, including recordings and documents that you can just go and select. Again, three dots. You can see you've got your usual options there in Teams. And then in those meetings, you can manage your calendar events from this app as well. So you can see exactly what's going on, what's coming up next, what responses you've had, what details you've got and make changes. You can even join or tell them you're running late from this app. So there's some really nice productivity benefits of using Meet rather than just going into your calendar or chats to try and figure out what was going on, grab those recordings and documents and things like that. Try Meet out and see if that works better for you because it's all in one place. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.